So, hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk where you'll find the whole of GCSE Maths on video for free. Do check it out and even revision guides. This video is about moving averages, doesn't really come up in many syllabuses. Um, the whole point, it's good to know the point before we get going, is to flatten out any patterns. So if there's a rough pattern going on, just to make it clearer, moving averages flattens out these graphs. Okay, so it's a nice little trick, but not really um, taught or tested much in exams. Um, so how do you do it? Uh, it's very easy. A three-point moving average works like this. You take three numbers, take the average of them, the mean average, so check out how to work out the mean, but I'll just tell you how to do it. You just add them together and divide by three, okay, because it's a three-point moving average, so you take three numbers, and so the average of these three numbers is three, and you put it underneath the middle of those three numbers. Then you take the next three numbers, so I miss out that first one, and go to the next three, four, three, and five, and the average of these three, four plus three plus five, the mean average, uh, divided by three gives you four and put it between that. So underneath the middle of these three, you put the answer to that. So the average of these three, the mean average of these three, the answer goes there. Then you work out the mean average of these three and put it uh, in the middle, below the middle number over there. And so on and so forth. And you get, uh, so before you had a little graph um, that late went, you know, January, February, March, blah, 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 like it says over there, and it it sh was showing the results 2, 4, 3, 5, 7 before, and it was a bit bumpy. Now, if you show these results instead, you see less results because you're finding the average of the results, yeah? Okay, you can see a few dots there, but you get a nice straight line, okay? So, that's the actual trend, as they call it, and that's the moving average line over there, okay? Um, maybe it's probably worth making these dots darker. Let's have to do that. You can see... There you go. There you go. So you probably couldn't see that before. Now you probably can see it a bit better. Anyway, so... Um, that's that, and four-point moving average is so easy as well. It's the same thing again. Instead of three-point moving average, we're doing the four-point moving average, which simply means take four numbers, take the average of them, the mean average, four, so two plus four plus three plus five, divided by four, because you've got four numbers now, which is 3.5. And as as before, you put it in the middle of the, f of the numbers you've just taken the average of. So the middle of that is not directly below any one number, because there's four numbers, you put it between between the two middle numbers, so over there. And then you take the next four numbers, 4, 3, 5, 7, missing out the first, so 4, 3, 5, and 7, pl add them together, divide by 4, you get 4.75. So, you again, you put it right in the middle of those four numbers, so that's over there. And again and again, you know, you just take the next four numbers and do the same old thing. And then you can uh, do what we did before. Um, plot these numbers. These you can see these numbers over here. These, these this top line of numbers have been plotted already. And then I plot these numbers in dark line, the actual moving average result. And you can see it's kind of straightening out the pattern. But there's such few results that it's very hard to even see a line. Anyway, that's it. It's not really complicated stuff, is it?